guys, welcome to class number five. And in this class, we want to talk about uh, Sky Dome and physical sun and sky. One of the most important features that we have in Maxwell Studio. And we want to show you how you can achieve these features in Maxwell Studio 5. Okay, uh, if you want to see these features, you can easily go to environment settings and in settings, you can set the type to sky. We talked about the image based lighting before in the previous class. Okay, and in this class, we want to talk about sky. We set the type to sky. And after that, we have different rollouts, sky settings, sun and location and time. Okay, if we go to sky settings, we have two type of sky type. Okay, physical sky or constant dot. First of all, we want to talk about uh, a normal and default constant dome that we have in uh, Maxwell Studio. If I choose constant dome, you can see constant dome plus sun. I will go to sun rollout and disable the sun. Okay. And you can see we have only the sky dome and normal sky dome like any other renderers. And we have different or bunch of options here, intensity, zenith, horizon and midpoint with intensity in CDM2 we can uh, set the brightness for the constant dome and with Venus and horizon we can set the color for it and with midpoint we see the mixture we can change the mixture between the zenith and horizon if I want to show you these features I can uh, change the intensity with the middlemost button we can click and drag with the middlemost button okay and see the brightness we can choose 1000 for intensity 10,000 by default or 100,000 okay whoa amazing but we also have camera that we will cover it in the next session we can change the exposure with it but if we want to change the exposure or the brightness with the sky settings in the constant dome we can use intensity okay i will bring it back to 10,000 to the default value i can change the zenith color uh if i change it to something like red okay this red you can see the whole area will be red because our sky our constant dom or sky dom is red now but you can see the mixture between the red color and the white color of the horizon but if i change the midpoint uh, value you can see different mixtures if i choose a uh, higher value you can see a bit more horizon color if i raise it down to zero you can see more zenith color but if you uh choose the same color for the zenith and horizon the midpoint feature is somehow disabled because we don't have any different colors here and midpoint uh, will mix the same color and we cannot see any difference between them. Okay, this is the constant dome features and we can add physical sun to it. We can have constant dome plus physical sun and change any feature in the sun and the location and time feature that we want to have a very very great mixture between sun and constant dome okay or we can disable it and use any light that we want in the scene with custom uh, lights with custom objects that we can turn them to any light that we want okay this is the constant dome feature but if I change it to physical sky we can see a very great physical physically accurate sky in Maxwell studio that we can add physical sun to it and we want to talk about all of these features now okay in this class we want to talk about sun and location and time and in the next class we will talk about sky settings okay in sun you can see type sun power radius factor sun temperature and color uh, first of all you need to choose the type of the sun custom disable physical if you choose disable uh, there is no sun in the scene and if you choose physical you will have sun temperature and with custom feature you will have color option color option is not physical if you click on it you can choose and select any color that you want for your sun that is not physical it's a custom feature but you have it in maxwell studio this is totally amazing but if you want to be in a physical matter 
you need to change it to physical type and you will have sun power. You can change the brightness of the sun with it. You can see radius factor. You can set the scale uh, for your sun size and uh, change the sun temperature to have a very, very warmer or cooler sun color temperature with Kelvin degree. Okay. But before we uh, talk about and show you these features, we need to set the location for our sun direction. Okay, this is really, really important. In location and time rollout, you can see location. Okay, we have three options. Latitude, longitude. You can set any latitude, longitude that you want. You can find it Google or using your map application on your cell phone to find any latitude, longitude that you want and put the numbers in lat long feature here. But if you don't have any of these features like cell phone, like internet, okay, that is totally weird somehow, you can see city feature. If you click on city, you can see many, many different countries uh, and cities in the world that you can choose. If I go, for example, to Germany and choose Berlin and stop and run the fire another time you can see the difference okay with different location and different sun direction here and change the date and time to now and change the time wow you can see the sun direction will be changed and this is really really great because you you can choose anything that you want in a re very very physical situation like a real world but if you want to use it on the earth globe you can uh, click on the earth globe feature and choose anywhere uh, that you want but you can set gmt for it auto gmt and ground rotation to rotating the light direction very very amazing but this is not my favorite feature we have direction that we can set any coordinate that we want but my favorite feature is angles in angle feature we have zenith and azimuth this is really really great because this is a very very customized feature that you can set any direction that you want for your sun very very easily we can change the zenith to uh change the height for our sun direction and with azimuth we can rotate it uh, in any direction that we want uh, from zero from zero to 360 amazing 180 to 270 okay this is totally amazing if I want to see the light see the Sun I can change the zenith I can change the azimuth you will have a very very nice rising sun situation here wow in maxwell and now you can see the sun power and radius factor if i change the radius factor to 50 you can see we have a bigger sun but we have a very very softer shadow if i change the zenith you can see a better shadow 1 50 100 amazing and if I change the Sun temperature to something like 2800 very very warmer 10 thousand cooler but we have more brightness because Kelvin that we saw this feature in previous classes also change the brightness also change the power and change the color of the lights in physical situation and we have a very very physical accurate system in Maxwell studio this is totally great I will bring it back to 5000 or to default number 5000 777 okay this is default number for the default sun in maxwell studio and in the real world and change the factor radius factor to 25 and sun power to one this is sun features in maxwell studio in next class we will see 
sky feature sky feature is one of the greatest things that you have in maxwell because you can create any type of sky that you want and save it as hdr and use it anywhere that you want this is totally totally amazing hope to see you in the next class to cover the sky settings thank you